So I left the house two hours early this morning so that I could make this video and it is pouring down rain and traffic looks like this. I'm on my way to school and I just really got tired of traffic so I decided to stop at Starbucks. See, here's the thing. I don't like coffee. I don't like the way it tastes. It's just, ugh. It's something for grown-ups, and I am very much a child. But I've realized that lately that my energy level has been very low. I'm exhausted. The dogs are barking at 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, please, just let me sleep. So I decided to go to Starbucks and see if I could find an alternative to coffee that'll give me the energy that I need to get through the day without the terrible taste. Now, I love chocolate, and I decided to see if I could find out if chocolate-covered espresso beans is anything different. I was gonna film this in Starbucks, but it was really loud in there. Yes, yes, chocolate, chocolate. I love chocolate. I love chocolate. So, I'm hoping that I will love this. Does anyone else have troubles opening these packages? Ah, got it. Mm. Oh, it tastes like chocolate covered balls of dirt. Oh. So once I get past the essential dirt taste and the texture, not so bad. I don't understand people who drink coffee, especially like hot coffee in the morning. If it's summertime, I don't want to drink anything hot. I want to drink something that's cold and going to be refreshing. I have tried iced coffee and the kind that looks like slushies, and that is packed with so much sugar that it hurts my hip. Now, last semester, I went through this phase where I was just drinking the double, triple chocolate frappuccino that Starbucks has, and it was really good. Barely had any, or if it had any coffee in it at all, I didn't taste it. But the problem is that it had so much sugar that it started to make my leg hurt. And then someone told me, you know, those have lots of sugar in it. And I was like, what? What do you mean? So I stopped drinking them and then I started drinking water and then the pain went away. My leg still hurts, but not as much as what I was experiencing last semester. Let's uh, let's head into class. I got to class in time with 15 minutes to spare considering the traffic was terrible. Oh my goodness, but it's all good. Uh, I got to pitch my idea to my teacher about this upcoming project that I'll be, I will be working on for the entire semester, which is amazing. I'm excited about it. They're excited about it. We're all excited about it. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. I definitely will. And now I'm here at work. Um, as a graphic designer, intern at uh, MSC. You guys want to see where I work? Thanks for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in seeing more, hit that subscribe button. And Jess, I will see you next week. Bye.